so I'm learning Italian verbs on Renzulli Learning, and you can learn a bunch of words on here, and it's really cool. Okay, so I went on Renzulli, and I learned the words, and then I copied them down from the English, and on the back, um, the Italian words, and I made fruits and vegetables, food and drinks, numbers, vocabulary, animals, vocabulary, and color. And I learned a lot, so hi, Lindy. Non capisco. I don't understand. Um, la farfalla. Which means? Butterfly. Can you do a complete sentence yet? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I have phrases right now. You have phrases? Mm -hmm. So, Italian phrases. And so you got this off of Renzulli? Mm -hmm. Ciao, sono Samantha e sono Quinn. Il siamo le due italiano con il pranzo di oggi. Il pranzo di oggi è composto da polpette di carne, panino e prosciutto e formaggio, insalata di pollo asiatica, carote, vasio di verdure, fresh con ranch e vasio di frutta. Ciao, buon, buon pranzo! pranzo. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tessa and here's today's lunch. Uh, pizza, yogurt snacker, chef salad, corn on the cob, freezy, uh, fresh veggie tray with ranch, and fruit. Bye. We did, we researched, we did our project and we were also making a Google slide. Come see my Google slide. Okay, go again. Raising his head and we're gonna label the parts of his bones. The project is about acids and bases. Slippery change litmus blue and become less basic when this when mixed with acids. Then two hundred years later, a Swedish scientist named Savante Arrhenius proposed that acids are compounds that can dissolve into water to release oxygen. Hydroxin, hydrogen, hydrogen ions, H plus into solution. Bases are also compounds that dissolve in water, in water and release hydrogen, 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 hydrogen ions, OH into solution. Most recently, in the in 1923, two scientists, Johannes. Bronsted and Thomas Lowry published independent yet similar papers that Savante made. The Bronsted Lowry definitions are acids are substances that can that can donate a hydroxygen ion. Bases are substances that can accept a hydroxygen ion. A hydro Tell me about your project. I'm making a project about acids and bases, and right now I'm animating my slides to make it a bit more fun. Go ahead, Jensen. You can read it out loud. They support your muscles. They protect your brain. Bones help us survive. Bones have a help and look. They help you keep in shape and look like this. Bones even keep our eyes in. The truth for me. I'm done. I think it's telling the truth. It gives a good explanation about volcanoes. I, I, because I feel like not a lot of people would explain it like that. So I think 
Well, it's probably because it's good. I mean, <laughs> well, they wouldn't, they wouldn't know the um I word. Mean, third graders might happen to hold. Well, they not all third graders know the word pyroclastic. I don't know. I forgot how to say it. Pyroclastic. Yeah, I think I said it. Wait, so, what? So I'm. I have to finish these words and I'm, I'm done. These. <laughs> Today, um, I'm I'm doing stuff now because I'm not I'm not really starting any projects right now. For later, I'll start something. Else. So now I'm just trying to find games to keep myself like like excited with in here. All right. I'm doing the enrichment. And playing a game. And playing a game. All right, so put it together. I'm doing enrichment and playing a game. I'm doing enrichment and playing a game. Zuli. I'm working on. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> yes, it's hard. Be safe online. All right, say that again. I'm wondering how to always just back away. Like if you move this or touch it at all, watch. You can't see it now, but when I put it in, you'll see it um, shake. Um, so I found this volcano project on Rizuli, and I was really interested in it, and I was going to make like a little project on it, like making one of those vinegar volcanoes, but first I wanted to make a Google slide, so now I did some research and I'm, try I'm making a Google slide about four different kinds of volcanoes. I like the explanation about it. I feel like this is always the website it takes me up to. I don't know Probably why. Is, I guess these people, these people just um, want to explain it. Wikipedia does have a lot. Yeah, I, I think so. Wikipedia takes you on a lot, a lot, a lot of websites. That's Wikipedia sure. is usually the one that people that you use. Like I, when I like I went to lots of projects, and every time I went to it, it had it was Wikipedia. I think my brother uses Wikipedia a lot. Yeah, remember when we did that animal project? That was. I did craft code for my Renzuli project. Try and solve this. Uh -huh. Hold on. All right, say that again, Lily. Try and solve this. Try and solve this. I am doing a project on horses. I am making a Google slide all about horses. And you had to research too, right? Yeah, I went on Renzuli and sometimes I would go to other links to see pictures of the horses too. Tell me about your project that you're looking at. Um, right now I'm looking at equestrian sports and showing. Um, is that something you've learned? Like you've never heard of that, have you? Or is this something new? Um, but, like I know that horses are shown, but some of these stuff are really cool. Like um, there are showing classes for all types of ages of horses and ponies. And also there's a horse of the year show. I did not know that too. Right now I'm learning how to do a Google slide for my Renzuli project. Good, Andrew. Can I just read all that? Um, no, don't read the whole thing. Just tell me what your project was about in Renzuli. Okay. Go. Hi, I'm Charlotte, and I'm going to tell you about my project. This project is about a goldfish, which I researched on Renzuli, and I learned about what it eats, how it looks like, and... What are the predators? And this year's project, I'm doing it on an ABC book. All right, tell me what you're making. 
I'm making an ABC book. Lily May, what's your project? My project is crack the code. And right now, I'm working on something else. After I'm done, I'm going to work on cracking codes and making them for my family and friends to crack. Um, my project is about drawing cartoon animals. So do you have to research different animals or anything before yes. you do it? Mm -hmm. I research about them and their body parts and then I draw them. And that's the kind of stuff you like? Yes.